Hi guys, just wanted to send a special video um, since it's Mother's Day this weekend and I just want to say Happy Mother's Day to all the moms in my class and miss you guys all so much <laughs> and hope everybody's staying safe and everything. So I just wanted to read first, Are You My Mother? Now this book we've read always during Dr. Seuss week. I, I absolutely love this book and the kids always adore just enjoy it. So I just thought I'd read it to you guys. All right, are you my mother? All right, a mother bird sat on her egg. The egg jumped. Oh, oh, said the mother bird, my baby will be here and he will want to eat. I must go get something for my baby bird to eat, she said. I will be back. So away she went. Then the egg jumped and it jumped and it jumped and out came the baby bird. Where is my mother? He said. He looked for her. He looked up. He did not see her. He looked down. He did not see her. I will go and look for her, he said. So away he went. Down out of the tree he went, down, down, and it was a long way down. The baby bird didn't, could not fly, he could not fly, he could not walk, and now I will go and find my mother, he said. He did not know what his mother looked like, so he went right by her, and he did not see her. There's his mom. <laughs> Then he came to a kitten. Are you my mother? He said to the kitten. The kitten just looked and looked and it did not say a thing. The kitten was not his mother, so he went on. And then he came to a hen. Are you my mother? He said to the hen. No, said the hen. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. I have to find my mother, he said. But where, where is she? Where could she be? Then he came to a dog. Are you my mother? He said to the dog. I am not your mother. I am a dog, said the dog. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. The dog was not his mother. So the baby bird went on and now he came to a cow. Are you my mother, he said to the cow. How could I be your mother, said the cow. I am a cow. The kitten and hen were not his mother. The dog and the cow were not his mother. Did he have a mother? I did have a mother, said the baby bird. I know I did. I have to find her. I will. I will. He's very determined, isn't he? Now the baby bird not, did not walk, he ran, and then he saw a car. Could that old thing be his mother? No, it could not. So the baby bird stopped, did not stop, and he went on and on. Now he looked way, way down, and he saw a boat. He called to the boat, but the boat did not stop, and the boat went on. He looked way, way up, and he saw a big plane. Here I am, mother. He called out, but the plane did not stop, and the plane went on. Just then, the baby bird saw a big thing. This must be his mother. There she is, he said. There is my mother. He ran up to his mother. Mother, mother, here I am, mother, he said to the big thing. But then the big thing just said snort. <laughs> oh, you are not my mother, said the baby bird. You are a snort, and I have to get out of here. But the baby bird did not, could not get away. The snort went up. It went way, way up, and up, up, up went the baby bird. But now where is the snort going? 
Oh, 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 what is this snort going to do to me? Get me out of here. Just then, the snort came to a stop. Where am I, said the baby bird. I want to go home. I want my mother. Just then something happened. The snort put the baby bird right back in the tree and the baby bird was home. Just then the baby bird came back to the tree. Do you know who I am? She said to the baby. Yes, I know who you are, said the baby bird. You are not a kitten. You are not a hen. You are not a dog. You are not a cow. You are not a boat or a, or a plane or a snort. You are a bird and you are my mother. The end. So every year we make these wonderful projects for our moms because, you know, they're, they're wonderful and, and we appreciate them and and we, you know, we teach the kids to appreciate their moms because it's very nice to have a mom. So I thought I'd do a painting project. <laughs> Get my hands dirty here. So I'm going to roll up my sleeves. If you want to do this later, you can, you know, but I thought I'd show you a project. So we're going to make a flower with our hand um, in a pot. So we're going to paint our one hand green. Actually, it's gonna take off her ring so she doesn't paint a ring. All right, I'm gonna paint my hand. <laughs> the whole hand, get it nice and green. Wait, oh. Okay, got it nice and green. I'm gonna put it on the paper. You can fill in the, the hole of the palm or something like that. So it's supposed to look like that. And then, I forgot the steps. And then what you can do, you can take your other hand and you can dip it in yellow to make the center of the flowers that are gonna go on top of your stems. Just like that. Then you can take another finger and whatever color you guys want for the flowers, I usually do like pink, some, um, some red, some purple. <laughs> I'm making this for my mommy. My mommy would definitely still take my artwork. She keeps everything. <laughs> and then purple. <laughs> Got some red. Now you can make your flowers any way you want. And then I cut out a pot out of construction paper. So I'm just gonna put a little glue. You know, wipe off one of my hands. Put some Elmer's glue all over your pot. There you go. Just enough glue everywhere and then you put it right on the bottom there you go usually I mean your hands will be much smaller so you can see the whole hand my hand is kind of big but um, that's the idea and I usually write something like you know you know thanks for helping me grow and all that stuff for the month so that's my Mother's Day project for you guys. And yeah, that's how it turned out. <laughs> All right, well, I just wanted to send another video to you guys and 
miss you all. I hope everybody's doing safe and well, doing safe, being safe. And uh, happy Mother's Day to all the mommies. I hope you guys enjoy, you know, your time at home with your, your family and stuff. I definitely miss my mom, so I'm going to go see her um, probably this weekend, too. And just, you know, six feet apart. Definitely miss her a lot <laughs> now that I moved out. Um, all right. I'll see you guys soon.